the Giants have just been wonderful. They've always had these great defensive pieces around them on their team. They had Leonard Williams, which the stats may not show up, but he's been playing very, very well. You have James Bradbury, who's more and more every single week becoming more and more of that corner that can line up with the number one receiver and shadow him every single week. Still gives up some big plays here and there. Still isn't perfect. Still has some flaws here and there. But James Bradbury is one of the better cornerbacks who is developing into, I would say, edging right into that top 10 category of one of the best cornerbacks in the National Football League currently. So they have some good, solid players on that defense, and that's been key for them picking up some victories because their offense, their offense we all know about the turnovers. We all know about the, the injuries that they've suffered as well. Uh, Wayne Gallman has stepped up really well for Devontae Freeman and Saquon Barkley. Colt McCoy played really well and did his job and did enough to help pick up the victory against the Seattle Seahawks. And this Giants team, they have the depth to pick up for teams or, or, or pick up for their players that are injured. They have the defense to compete with some pretty good teams. The New York Giants are in prime position to win the NFC East division title. The question is, can they hold on to that division lead or is any other team going to surpass them like the Washington football team that just put off this amazing upset against the Pittsburgh Steelers? The Dallas Cowboys still have a shot. The Philadelphia Eagles, if they were to get a spark with Jalen Hurts, have a shot at winning the NFC East. What are the chances that each team were to win the NFC East? To break it down even further, you have to look at the remaining schedule for each of these four teams. There are four games remaining, if you want to count this week, this Sunday, uh, week 14. Let's first start off with the Philadelphia Eagles. We talked about their schedule earlier when we talked about Jalen Hurts. The New Orleans Saints, the Arizona Cardinals, the Dallas Cowboys, and the Washington Redskins. (laughs) Just kidding. Just want to make sure you're paying attention. The football team. They currently stand at 3, 8, and 1. The Philadelphia Eagles do. The Saints, if we want to go ahead and just pick favorites to win and favorites to lose, let's go ahead and say that the Saints are going to beat the Eagles. Okay, 3, 9, and 1. The Arizona Cardinals are a little bit on the decline. Let's say they're still favorited. They still have a better record. They're still the better team, and you have a rookie quarterback. Let's say that Kyler Murray his shoulder were to get better and he were to beat the Eagles. Okay, 3-10-1. and one. But then the last two games, you got the Cowboys, you got the, the football team. You're pretty much even with those two teams. Say you pull off the victory and you win two games. So let's say out of these four games, the Eagles win two out of the next four games. They would stand at 5-10-1 and one as their final record. Okay, so keep that in mind. 5-10-1. and one. The Dallas Cowboys... They're three and nine. Their schedule might be the easiest out of any remaining NFC East team. The Cincinnati Bengals, which by the way, this game against the Bengals, revenge game for Andy Dalton. He's going to show up, or at least I hope, he's going to play lights out. So I am excited for Andy Dalton and for him to get that revenge against the Cincinnati Bengals. The San Francisco 49ers, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the New York Giants. So the Bengals, Niners, uh, Eagles and the Giants are the remaining four games. Pretty simple schedule. Not too difficult at that point. So let's say out of those four games, the Cowboys were to win three out of those four games. Three out of four. That puts you at six and ten. All right, so now they surpass the the Eagles, who are five, ten, and one. The Cowboys surpass them. And now they lead the division at six and ten. Cool. The Washington football team. The 49ers, the Seahawks, the Panthers, the Eagles, they currently sit at 5-7. and seven. They don't have the tiebreaker with the New York Giants because of those two losses that they suffered against them earlier this season, but they're at second place right now. Out of those four games between the Niners, Seahawks, Panthers, and the Eagles, let's say that they win two of them. Okay, they, They're capable of beating the Eagles. They're capable of beating the Panthers if they were to uh, sit Christian McCaffrey and shut him out for the remainder of the 2020 season. They're even capable of being the 49ers at that point. It's possible. But let's say between the 49ers and the Panthers, they were to lose to one of those teams and they were to beat another one of those teams. So that would put them at 7-9. and But then here's the New York Giants who have been playing lights out. That have been surprising a lot of people starting 1-7 and and then winning four games straight. Even without their starting quarterback this last week against one of the better teams in the NFL and and the Seattle Seahawks. They sit at 5-7. and seven. What is the remaining schedule? The Arizona Cardinals, the Cleveland Browns, the Baltimore Ravens, the Dallas Cowboys. 
pretty tough schedule. Except, especially if you want to talk about the Browns and the, the Ravens. Let's go ahead and count those as losses. Now they have nine losses on the season. The Cowboys, they're capable of beating them. The wild card this week is so important in beating the Arizona Cardinals. Because the Giants, the Cardinals, yeah, record-wise, they're kind of neck and neck. But the Cardinals kind of sort of have the edge. But because of the recent struggles with Kyler Murray and the injury to his shoulder that he's been having, the Giants are in prime position to beat the Cardinals. And if they do... They would go to 7-9 and nine if we want to say that the Browns and the Ravens were to beat them. They'd be at 7-9, and nine, so would be the Washington football team, and the Giants have the tiebreaker, and they would win the NFC East and make the postseason at 7-9. and nine. 